Who is Oscar Wilde? Well, Oscar Wilde was born in Dublin, Ireland, in 1854. He attended Trinity College in Dublin and later went on to study at Magdalen College, Oxford. While at Oxford, he gained a reputation for his wit and flamboyant personality, and he became involved in the aesthetic movement, which emphasized the importance of art for art's sake. After leaving Oxford, Wilde became a popular playwright, poet, and essayist, known for his clever wit and sharp social commentary. Some of his most famous works include The Picture of Dorian Gray, a novel about a man who remains youthful while his portrait ages, and The Importance of Being Earnest, a play that pokes fun at the social conventions of the Victorian era. Oscar Wilde was married to Constance Lloyd, who was the daughter of a prominent British barrister. They were married in 1884 and had two sons together, Cyril and Vivian. However, Wilde's homosexuality and affairs with men caused significant strain on their marriage, and they separated in 1891, shortly before Wilde's trial and imprisonment. Although they remained legally married, they did not live together again. Constance changed her and her children's last name after Wilde's imprisonment and moved to Switzerland, where she died in 1898. Despite his success as a writer, Wilde's personal life was fraught with scandal. He had a tumultuous relationship with Lord Alfred Douglas, who was the son of the Marquess of Queensbury. When Queensbury accused Wilde of homosexuality, Wilde sued him for libel. However, during the trial, evidence emerged that showed Wilde's relationship with Douglas was indeed romantic. Wilde was convicted of gross indecency and sentenced to two years in prison, during which time his health deteriorated. After his release from prison, Wilde moved to France, where he spent the rest of his life. He wrote very little during this time and died in 1900 at the age of 46. Wilde's legacy as a writer and cultural figure has endured long after his death. He is remembered for his witty and insightful social commentary, as well as his influence on the aesthetic movement and the literary world at large. His life and work continue to be studied and celebrated to this day. Moreover, many people are also impressed and inspired by the words of Oscar Wilde. Let's hear some of his famous inspirational quotes. Everyone may not be good, but there's always something good in everyone. Never judge anyone shortly because every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Selfishness is not living your life as you wish to live it. Selfishness is wanting others to live their lives as you wish them to. The best way to enjoy your job is to imagine yourself without one. Education is an admirable thing, but it is well to remember from time to time that nothing that is worth knowing can be taught. With age comes wisdom but sometimes age comes alone. What seems to us as bitter trials are often blessings in disguise. I don't want to go to heaven. None of my friends are there. One can survive everything nowadays except death and live down everything except a good reputation. When love comes to an end, weaklings cry, efficient ones instantly find another love, and the wise already have one in reserve. We are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. We all have clouds above us, but some see their silver linings. We all face difficulties, but some of us are grateful that they aren't worse. Without order, nothing can exist. Without chaos, nothing can evolve. Nowadays people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. 
Give him a mask, and he will tell you the truth. Death must be so beautiful. To lie in the soft brown earth, with the grasses waving above one's head, and listen to silence. To have no yesterday, and no tomorrow. To forget time, to forgive life, to be at peace. Those were inspirational words, indeed. Oscar Wilde's last days were spent in France, where he had moved after his release from prison. His health was poor, and he was living in poverty. He continued to write, but his work was not well received, and he struggled to make ends meet. In November 1900, Wilde developed meningitis and died a few days later, on November 30th, at the age of 46. He was buried in the Cimetière de Bagneux outside Paris, and his tomb has since become a popular tourist attraction. Despite the hardships he faced in his final years, Wilde's work and legacy continue to be celebrated today, and he is remembered as one of the most influential writers of the 19th century. And now you know. If you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, and don't forget to click the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you.